Indian women authors are breaking into the field of literature in a major way and making us proud with their beautiful stories. In today's video, I bring to you some amazing books by Indian women authors which celebrate our culture and our common stories with their literary voices. Hello everyone, I am Shalu. Welcome to my channel where I post book related videos. First of all, let me wish all of you a very happy International Women's Day. On the occasion of Women's Day, I thought of sharing with you some awesome books by some Indian women authors which every reader would be able to appreciate. The list is in no particular order. So without further ado, let's get started. The first book is The 20th Wife by Indu Sundaresan. The novel is set in the Mughal Empire of the 1500s. It is an epic tale of royal romance, unbridled passion, culture, tradition, history and the struggle for the control of royal throne. It is an enchanting love story of Mehrunissa and Prince Salim which defied all tradition and logic. This fairy tale romance tells the real story of a beautiful woman who rose in stature to become Noor Jahan, the undisputed queen of Mughal Empire. Mehrunissa was the daughter of a starving refugee who faced a lot of struggles in her personal life. She got married when she was just 17, had a daughter and became a widow 13 years later. When Emperor Jahangir proposed to her, she was 34, an age which was considered past its prime in the royal harem. But this didn't deter Jahangir and she became Jahangir's 20th and last legal wife. The love story of Mehrunissa and Jahangir is magical and is portrayed beautifully. The book will take you to the grandeur of Mughal era. It will show you the customs, traditions and beliefs of those times. If you love period dramas or if you love historical fiction, then this is the perfect book for you. The next book is The Palace of Illusions by Chitra Banerjee Devakaruni. Being able to retell an already told story needs a lot of skill and Chitra Banerjee Devakaruni excels in it. The Palace of Illusions is a retelling of the famous Indian epic Mahabharata from the perspective of Draupadi, its lead female character. The Battle of Mahabharata was fought to avenge the humiliation of Draupadi. Draupadi was a royal princess who later married the five Pandavas. But still, she faced the humiliation of being dragged into the royal court where the Kauravas tried to disrobe her. Draupadi is an ever-present central character of Mahabharata, but still little is told from her perspective or about her motives or thoughts in the original epic. The author beautifully portrays Draupadi's story and in doing so presents the challenges women have faced since centuries. In presenting Draupadi's emotions and feelings, the author sensitizes the readers to the pain and humiliation that Draupadi felt. The book deviates in parts from the original epic and this is my only grudge against this book. But all in all, the book is a very entertaining read with its colourful scenes and lyrical language. The next book is Legends of Pensam by Mamang Dai. Mamang Dai is an author and poetess from Arunachal Pradesh. Through this collection of short stories, the readers are transported to the snow-capped mountains of Arunachal Pradesh. This anthology is an intricate web of stories, customs, traditions, superstitions of the tribal people of Arunachal Pradesh. There is a touch of folklore in the stories as the author talks about the river, black magic, forest spirits and shamans. She talks with empathy about the hardships faced by the tribal people living in the remote mountainous regions with little communication with the outside world. The book has a distinct dreamy vibe to it and it draws the readers in. The stories are all different and yet they somehow feel connected to each other. I loved reading this book and it helped me in getting better acquainted with a part of India I knew very little about. The next book is Interpreter of Melodies by Jhumpa Lahiri. An Indian-American by birth, Jhumpa Lahiri is famous for telling the stories of immigrants like no other. Interpreter of Melodies is her debut work for which she won the Pulitzer Prize of Fiction in 2000. The book is an anthology of nine short stories. The stories are about the Indian immigrants in the US. The stories share the sadness of being away from one's homeland, yet also offer a glimmer of hope for their lives in a new country. 
the stories share the universal struggle of getting adapted to the ways of a new country without losing touch with their roots the next book is the god of small things by arundhati roy This Booker Prize winning debut novel by Arundhati Roy tells the story of a family in Kerala during the 1960s. It focuses on the life of fraternal twins Estha and Rahul and their mother Amu's relationship with Velutha. Their world turns upside down when their visiting English cousin Sophie dies by accidental drowning. Through this story the author brings out the taboos of gender and caste which cloud the Indian perspectives. It is a compelling story of birth and death, of love and loss. The story is told beautifully in a poetic language. The next book is The Far Field by Madhuri Vijay. The Far Field is the debut novel of Madhuri Vijay which won the JCB prize for literature in 2019. The book tells the story of Shalini, a privileged young woman from Bangalore who is trying to cope with the loss of her mother. She sets out for a remote mountainous village in Kashmir in search for Bashir Ahmed, a travelling salesman who used to frequent her childhood home. But upon her arrival, Shalini is forced to face Kashmir's politics and hostile atmosphere. But in due course of time, Shalini has to make some choices which prove disastrous for the very people she has come to love. The book masterfully presents Kashmir politics and the turmoil of people living in terrorism hit regions through the lens of an outsider. Though I don't agree to the negative portrayal of Indian army in this book but still it's a politically relevant read and the lyrical writing style of the author makes it all the more enjoyable. And the last book is Bombay Bill Chow by Jane Borges. This debut novel by Jane Borges presents a charming portrait of the Catholic community of South Bombay. This historical fiction spans over 80 long years. The story revolves around the inhabitants of Bosco Mansion in Kaveri. Michael Cotino and his quirky neighbors, their lives and situations make for an engaging read. The author presents a beautiful account of Bombay's cultural heritage, its past and present. The culture, history and traditions of the Catholic community of Bombay is presented through the stories. The stories are delightful and heartwarming. The book is a real treat for not only the people who love Bombay but for all the readers. So these were my book recommendations for this International Women's Day. Have you read any of these books? If yes, do share your thoughts in the comment section. And if you have liked this video, please like, comment and share. And if you want to see more bookish content like this, please subscribe to my channel and do not forget to hit the bell icon so that you get notified every time I post a new video. Until my next video, bye and take care.